What's up guys? How's it going? So for this video, I'm going to cover some tips and tricks and things to avoid. Uh, there's definitely some mistakes I've made as playing through this game, etc. So the first thing I'd like to go over is the leveling factor. You are going to find points where you get time gated, but when you get time gated in the normal story, you can hop over to hard. If you haven't actually cleared this hard stuff and that can be points to un get unstuck. Now also, make sure you go back and clear these trophies. As you can see, I haven't cleared all these stages. I can go back and get a lot of extra free summons. So that's important step number one. Now important step number two is gonna come down to your gear and uh, your artifacts specifically. So when you're upgrading these, and I can show you real quick. So you come here, enhance, I have 47 of these, okay? You come up here, you try to enhance uh, this. Yeah, perfect. I have zero. You don't get a lot of enhancement uh, artifact chips. Save those. That is going to be very crucial. Don't waste your rolls on it like this. I shouldn't have even ke kept rolling this. You know, I hit plus one uh, healing given, hit plus one defense. There was no point for me to hit that. It's waste. It's wasted artifact chips. You know, you go look here. I'm not even using this. Additional mana plus two. Uh, it's like whatever. Like, and then you go here. Here's another one. This one actually isn't horrible but it did hit healing given at the plus 10 which is why i stopped rolling into it but keep in mind when you're rolling gear if it just rolls into bad stats just wait find another piece don't get anxious that was the mistake that i made i wanted to progress faster than i was able to so i was hitting shit that i shouldn't really stick to so that's that's gonna be my biggest recommendation there now third biggest recommendation for anyone dispatch missions See these? You get a lot, and this is going to give you daily rewards, allowing you to be able to get more keys, to be able to do more dungeons. Always, always, always have your dispatch mining going. This is going to be crucial for your progression. Now, fourth thing I'd like to cover. We're going to go Army of Shadows. And with the Army of Shadows, it is very important we always make the right choice on what's going to benefit us. So you have this one here that's going to give you attack increase, which is fantastic for your Sung Jin Woo. Also, Igris is fantastic for your Sung Jin Woo. You obviously automatically get this at the start. But your second one that you're going to want to hit is going to be your Iron. Like, iron for us is going to help us to a whole nother extent. Because we're going to be running Emma, we're going to be running Saji Wu, and we're going to be running units like that, that scale off HP. So when you go into these 100 instances and you just don't do enough damage, you know, here's your problem. Now, that we're talking about hunters. This is my next recommendation. So, don't ignore your hunters. Don't just pour everything into Sung Jin, uh, Sung Jin Wu. This is what I did. And now I'm having an issue. So with that, as you can see, I'm progressing. My current team power is lower than what is recommended. And I'll tell you, this is on a blue gate. If this is on a red or a gold gate, I'm way under level. I'm actually in the red, so I can't do them without doing a sweep. And sweeps aren't what you want to be aiming to do. If you can't, if we can't do the content, why are we there? And that is something that I will say is one of the biggest mistakes slash most important notes to give to anybody is don't neglect your hunters, you know, and also gear your hunters properly. You know, my Emma right now is currently at 17.5k health. That's not enough. I need to be about 25k. So that is a very extremely important note. Now, on the final note that I'll give you guys for tips and tricks is your goal. You're always going to be poor. You're always going to be broke. And this also goes back to where I was talking about enhancement. It's expensive. And you're going to be lacking those materials. So keep in mind, be very determined on what you want to get. And actually, I do have one final tip and trick for you guys. And this is going to be very crucial. Is your skills for Sung Jin Woo. Make sure you're using things that benefit him. And make sure that when you get new runes, you swap according to what's going to benefit you. This skill right here, Cutting Rush, is literally one of the best skills you could possibly get for him. You get 20% increased critical damage. This is key. Key, key, key. Uh, it'll allow you to clear faster. It resets so you can pop it again when you're about to have the buff fall off. 
and continue progressing. That is, it's very, very, very important. Also, on the mention of skills, make sure you guys are leveling um, up. As you can see, I'm level 7 currently on my ultimate. I'm level 9 here, which you do gain levels from getting runes. So, it is very important to craft runes as much as you guys can. Level 10 here. It's crazy. And on the topic of levels, don't forget to level your hunter skills. This is actually crazy how many people I have seen not have their skills leveled up. Look at this amount of damage that you can get. It's absolutely insane. I, this starts at such a lower percent, and I'm at 2,073.33% damage of my max HP. And as I scale up my max HP, that will do a ridiculous amount. Don't neglect your hunters. I go back to the original uh, one of don't neglect your hunters. Hit those skills. Hit that artifacts. You know, progress them. But anyways, guys, that's going to cover this trips, tricks, and mistakes I've made. If you guys do like my content, please hit that like and subscribe button. I'll catch you guys on the next video.